Good morning guys and welcome to the unpacking vlog. So obviously we've already started unpacking a little bit. Like my room, right where I'm standing, there was like a mound of boxes, but I kind of like unpacked some and I moved them to the sides as you guys can see. So this is a towel, don't mind it. Um, as you can tell, or as you know, Valerie's study was like full of books. So some of the boxes um, in the hallways and stuff are for Valerie's study and that's gonna take a while, like I already know. All of this is pretty much like towels and that's only three boxes, that's good. And then over here, we just have more master linen stuff. A couple of Valerie's like study stuff rather than linens. It's basically either Valerie study or linens. And then over here is all of like Valerie study books and stuff. I'll show you around because that's what we do here. So you guys can see kind of my room right now. It is okay. So when it comes to unpacking and stuff, it's pretty much finished, but it's not even close to being finished because this whole thing is going to be a lot different. As you can see, I don't have a bed frame. Oh, hey, you can see me in the mirror. Hey, there's Sherry. As you guys know, like I'm going to get a bed eventually. So this is just a mattress on the floor. Then we have the mirror. The mirror is going to just be for props for like if I want to do photo shoots or whatever. Over here, I have some decor. I have this letter board, which I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. The hanging thing. My friend got me, actually my friend got me like both those things. So the little hanging thing that's gonna go in my bathroom somewhere on the wall because it matches really well. And then this hello sign is gonna also go in my bathroom. I'm gonna spray paint it black and I'll show you guys why I need to spray paint it black when we get into my bathroom. This is just a spare pillow. I've ordered my comforter thing, the insert, but the comforter like, cover is right there so i have that this thing you've seen all the time but i'm going to get rid of it and this is going to be a tall chest number one for storage number two because i want it to match like i want a bedroom suit to like match so it's just better it just like flows better because i'm also going to get the matching nightstand so that's going to be over there and then on top of my bed, I think I want some sort of like art thing. I'm not too sure. Hey Sherry. Hello. This wall is going to be like some sort of, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this wall yet. <laughs> um, and then this over here, I'm going to order this like giant ass mirror. And it's gonna be like just a body mirror so I can like show off my outfits and stuff. And it is from the website CB2. It's like it's just a modern clean mirror. I wanted to go with the mirror, the anthropology mirror, like the famous mirror, but that's too expensive, man. Like, oh my gosh, I can't justify that. It's just too much. So anyways, the other mirror I think would match better because I'm going with a more like subtle look. So that's there. My trash can, I thought that was gonna be like a little bit bigger. It's like a really puny trash can, but it's fine. Um, these are my mom's degrees. They were in one of the boxes I unpacked. The TV is not mine. I don't need a TV in my room because I don't watch TV. Don't even really like TV. Um, over here, I, didn't, I forgot to tell you what was over here. So over here, we are going to put like pompous grass with like a vase and then a lamp because as you can see, there's no lights in this room, which I think is kind of stupid. Like, I don't know why they're doing that, but I need a light. So a lamp and pompous grass is gonna go over there. And then in here, you guys have seen, this is literally just replicated my closet. It's like I did a copy paste of my closet from our old house here. So it's exactly the same. There's nothing really to show there. And then moving into my bathroom, my bathroom is probably like my favorite. Don't mind this stuff because all of this stuff was stuff that was under my bed that's gonna go into my chest when I get that tall thing that I was showing you guys because I don't have any space. So it's just gonna live there for now. Um, this is my keepsake bin. It's gonna go on the in the top shelf of my closet, but I just can't reach that. And then this is gonna go into Valerie's closet because she took my mini fridge. This is my bathroom. You guys have seen it, but I got a trash can to match obviously and a new bath mat. And then I finally have a little shelf. So that's pretty cool. Moving into here, I got well, this is just toilet paper, but I got a really nice um, soap dispenser because I wanted it to match. So 
like it matches the sink. It almost looks like it goes with the piece, which that's that was my end goal. Like I wanted something to match and get go nice. I'm not feeling the green, but I like the scent, so I'll compromise on that. We'll just get some Elphaba vibes and going on in here. And then down here, just like my closet, this is literally a copy paste of my old under the sink cabinet space. Like it's exactly the same. Same setup, everything. It is kind of weird though. This like front thing isn't wide enough. So I had to like turn this thing on its side to like get it in there. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope this fits. And then in here again, because I don't have a lot of storage yet, there's not a lot of place to put things. So I just put my ears in here. I'm probably gonna end up putting my ears in a drawer again when I get that big chest thing. I'll have a space for the ears. And then my littlest pet shop, I don't know what to do with. And then some lotions that I got on eBay and then more ears. Yeah, this is not gonna stay like that, but for now, it works. And if you couldn't tell, I'm the type of person that likes to unpack and like organize right at the beginning of something. Like it just bothers me when it's just not, not it. So yeah. So Sherry and I, Sherry peek out there. <laughs> We're going to work on the kitchen because we don't have any utensils or anything. So that's going to be our target today. And I'm going to vlog. Um, I haven't vlogged just because it's kind of been overwhelming and stuff. But yeah, so welcome to the Unpack With Me vlog. I hope you guys enjoy and stick around. Okay guys, so we are going to start on the kitchen now. But first, it's like so late guys. We should have gotten an earlier start. But, but first coffee. So Sherry was like, if you drive, I'll get Starbucks. And I'm like, okay, we don't have one that close to us. Uh, well, it's like semi close to us, but we're hoping they'll build one around here. And Sherry and I were talking about like coffee places. I'm like, if it's not Starbucks, I hope it's Duncan. I do not want Foxtail moving in. <laughs> anyway, we need to get to work. So I'm gonna start the time lapse now. So it's much much later and you can barely see me because I am not lit up very well because I'm filming you know what maybe I should just move this to the other side that's like one good thing about having like so many boxes <laughs> but um, my duvet thing came like my comforter came so we're just gonna put the comforter cover on the comforter hoping this is right Okay, so this is it. It is the lightweight down alternative comforter, and this is in the full queen size. It's the right size. Okay, so this is what my bed looks like. I love it so much and I can't wait to get my actual like bed frame for it. But yeah, I am thrilled with the way it looks. I know, sorry about the bra, um, but overall it's what I imagined. I wanted that like very simplistic look. Even the pillow over here is really cute. And then uh, for the closure, it zips. You don't have to worry about like the pillow falling out, which is really, really nice. So I'm super, super pleased with how this turned out. Wow, I look so tiny on the screen, but I'm going to put together my shower curtain stuff. So again, I will link this down below. Oh my gosh, the lighting, the lighting. Need to change up the angles. All right, there we go. That's a little better. So again, I'll try to link all this stuff for you guys like down below, but I got a new shower curtain. I'm so excited. Like, I swear, this is like the first time I've actually like gotten to pick out my room stuff. I mean, I've always gotten to pick it out, but like 
this is like real pick out. You know what I mean? Like not dog themed. I had this one room that was like dog themed and it was so bad. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I like the fabric. So it is from the company CB2 and it just says shower curtain on it. So I got the taller version because my shower is like taller. I wanted the shower curtain to like cover everything. So this is the taller version of the lengths they offer. So this is her. They're on this side. So here are the little uh, cutouts to put the rings in. And then I just got these black hangers. Um, so it matches my bathroom. And then this is a liner I got from Amazon. It's just like a cloth one. I don't know. It says that it's like mold resistant. So I just decided to go with this one. So I'm gonna time lapse this so you guys can watch me try to put this together. Okay, so this is the shower curtain. It's pretty cute. Um, it's supposed to be like kind of loose at the top, I guess. Um, but overall it just like matches, which I wanted as you guys can see. This, I don't know if this is too short or not. I don't think it is, but it kind of makes me nervous. Uh, the liner, but it's not the end of the world and I didn't want it to be like super long in the tub. So I don't know. Yeah, I can finally at least take a shower in here because I've been using my parents' shower. So that is what the shower curtain looks like. This is kind of dumb, but I can't shut the door with this mat because it's too thick. So that's a little awkward. Um, but overall the measurements for the shower curtain itself Worked out really well. And yeah, that's basically what it looks like. It's really cute. I like it a lot. Okay, so before I finish off this vlog and like shower and start a new vlog, I wanted to share. Guys, I have to sit and it's like horrible. Anyway, I wanted to share this like really stupid story. I shared it on Instagram. So if you guys have already seen that, if you follow me. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but okay. So I had to go into work. Then I turned around cause like I thought streets were closed off because I didn't think about getting off at another exit. So then I turned back around, but in the midst of all that, I find a Starbucks that's open, that was open, got an iced coffee and it looked really off. And I was like, what the heck? But I asked for more almond milk because I always need more almond milk in my drink. I even put like extra on the little label or at least I tell them that. So I get the drink and it just looks really off and really weird. So I try it and it tastes normal. The almond milk tastes fine. Like it didn't taste off, but it was almost like a thicker consistency. So I try to like shake it up in the cup that she gave me and Still like not very good, but I ended up drinking it because I got a venti because I was really craving the Starbucks So I got the venti and I was like just forced myself to finish it because I'm like I paid for this Well, actually my friend Angie got me this gift card to pay for it But still I'm like I'm gonna drink it whatever finish it. I'm like I wonder what stale almond milk looks like I looked it up and I was like I swear that almond milk was stale like and the girl didn't really understand either because she's like, oh, I normally put oat milk instead of almond. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I consumed some uh, stale almond milk, but I'm still alive and well. Let's knock on wood for that. Um, but yeah, just look that up so you guys know. Also, I wanted to share with you guys, I got a Stanley Cup. Um, I'll probably talk about that more in my next video that I'm gonna start. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna go take my first shower in my shower. I'm excited because I haven't been able to use it because I've been waiting for like all the shower curtain stuff to arrive. So yeah, I think that is about it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.